determine whether the negative 3 is a solution to the following inequality. 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 3. How do we know if minus 3 is a solution or not? We plug it in. 2 times, replace x with negative 3. And if the answer is true, that is a solution. What's 2 times a negative 3? Negative 6 plus 5, is that bigger than or equal to negative 3? What's negative 6 plus 5? Is negative 1 greater than or equal to negative 3? Yes. That is a solution. Why is it bigger? The number on the right is always bigger than the number on the left. Remember that? Zero, one, negative one, negative two, two, three, negative three, four, negative four, five, negative five. Where is the minus one? Minus one is right here. Where is the minus three? Right here. Minus one is bigger than minus three. So if that statement is true, then is minus three a solution? Yes, it is. Why? Because that's a true statement. That's how we decide if a point is a solution or not. But if we ask you to find the solution, that means you got to find it. We're not going to tell you if that's a solution or not. Tell me what the solution is. For example, if I write this one, I say, what's the solution to that? X is less than 2. You can't say 3. Well, 3 is not. You can't say 1 or 0. 1 is a solution, but that's not the only solution. There's lots of them. There's a lot of points. This is the 0. This is the 1. This is the 2. This is the 3. Negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 3. Now, it says less than 2. What is the 2? It's right here. Is the 2 included? No. No. So it's an open circle, which means not included. And less than is always to the left. So from this point all the way down, that's what the answer is. 1 is a solution. 0 is a solution. Minus 1 is a solution. 1.5 is a solution. That's why you can't say 1 or 2 or zero, or negative one. You have to tell me all the points. So this is from negative infinity all the way to two. Now, we're walking away from this notation, that open circle and closed circle. I'll leave a space there. What about the answer was this? How is that different than this? When you graph it. Yep. How do we graph it differently? Closed circle. closed circle. Yes, the closed circle means the 2 is part of the solution. Here, the 2 is not part of the solution. Now we're using a new notation. The new notation that everyone uses, this is the 2 here. Instead of open closed circle, we use parentheses and square brackets. So since the 2 is not included, we use parentheses. Parentheses means not included. The 2 is included, we use a square bracket. Square bracket means is included. Well, the reason this way is more popular than the other way, because now they're going to ask you to write the answer in something called interval notation.
What is that interval notation? From where to where? What's this value here? Infinity. Well, negative infinity, right? Negative infinity. So an interval notation, you answer from negative infinity all the way to where? To 2. Is 2 included? No. Parentheses. Is negative infinity included? Negative infinity, positive infinity, they'll never be included. Why? Because you can't reach them. So this one from negative infinity to 2, and you write that square bracket here, parentheses there. <coughs> the difference between them, the 2 is not included, the 2 is included here. So that's the look that a lot of people use today. Let me take a few problems and solve them. y plus 5 is greater than 9. We treat that just like an equation. Your goal, all the unknowns on one side, all the numbers on the opposite side. Move the plus 5 there. Change side, change sign. y is greater than what? 9 minus 5, which is what? 4. So if this is the 4, 4 is not included all the way to the right. The new look, the new notation, this is the 4. 4 is not included, it's parentheses. And this is infinity at the end here, right? So your answer from where to where? From 4 all the way to infinity. Infinity is never included. Is the 4 included? No. Let me try another one. 6x minus 3 less than 5x plus 4. Same as equations. All the x's on one side, all the numbers on the opposite side. <coughs> 6x minus 5x. 4, what happens to the minus 3? Plus 3. Plus 3. What's 6x minus x? x? X is less than what? 7. Seven. To graph it, I'm not going to write all the numbers. Less than 7. 7 is not included, so it's an open circle. To the left, this is a negative infinity here. Then you look. So my answer from where to where? From seven. You gotta put the smaller value first. Negative infinity, two, seven. seven. Infinity is not included, is the seven included? No. Should we write it the same way if the seven would be included? If what? Like, let's just say the seven was included, would we still write it? Square bracket. Oh, okay. The only time we have to do a twist to it, the only time is we treat this different than like an equal sign when this value is negative. So like I'll give you an example. Negative 21 less than 6y minus 9y. I'll make it less than or equal to, so you get to see what we do with that. Negative 21 
Negative 21 less than or equal to, what is 6y minus 9y? Negative 3y. Now to solve for y, what do we do? Divide by negative 3. What's negative 21 over 3? And this will be what? Y. Notice what I'm going to write. I switch the sign. When divide or multiplying. By a negative number. What do you want to do? Switch the sign of the inequality. That's the only time we do something different to it. And now the only reason I'm switching this has nothing to do with the negative 21. It has to do with I'm dividing by negative 3. That's the reason why I'm switching the sign. I don't care if that number is positive or not. So my answer, y is less than or equal to 7. That's what this one is saying. It just looks funny. It reads y less than or equal to 7. So when I graph that, this is the 7. Less than or equal. Close circle to the left. Square bracket to the left. So from negative infinity to 7, and notice the 7 now is a square bracket, and this is parentheses. Now, when you type this on the computer, they're going to mark that in red. So like it looks like you're doing something wrong. It's not. They're just telling you that these two don't match, but that's okay. One more example. I have time for one more. I have 2x minus 2 times x plus 3 less than well, the first one is 3x, I'm sorry. 3x minus 2 times x plus 3 less than 14. Distribute the yep. negative 2. Yep, distribute the negative 2, very good. So we'll have what? Minus 2x minus 6 is less than 14. What's 3x minus 2x? 1x. I don't have to put the 1. Take the minus 6 there. Change side, change sign. This becomes what? 20. 14 plus 6, which is 20. So this is the 20. So my solution... 20 is not included, so it's open, circle, to the left. Parentheses, which means not included, to the left. And where is my answer? From where to where? Negative infinity to 20, neither one is included.